Hi everyone, Nick here, developer of Spacewalk. Today I'm giving you a look at everything new in Spacewalk version 1.1, which is easily the biggest update that I've done so far. And the best part, it's going to be a free update for everyone who already has Spacewalk. If you haven't picked it up yet, Spacewalk's available on Gumroad right now on a pay what you want basis, with just a small minimum contribution to support future development. Alright, let's dive in. So from the start, Spacewalk's goal has been to generate smooth, evolving chord progressions for ambient and cinematic music automatically. But with version 1.1, we're moving from fully algorithmic generation to semi-generative control, which gives you the freedom to interact directly with the timeline, shape individual chords, and fine-tune how your progressions evolve. Let's start with one of the biggest interface upgrades, the new Chord Context menu. Right-click any chord in the timeline, and you'll now see a structured menu for editing scale degrees, suspension type, and richness level, complete with proper Roman numeral notation that updates automatically based on your current mode. It's quick, musical, and makes experimenting with harmonic changes effortless. Using that context menu, you can now manually edit any chord in your progression, change its scale degree, suspension type or richness, and Spacewalk will instantly regenerate that chord in context while keeping everything else intact. If you've got a chord you love, just lock it. Locked chords display a golden border and a padlock up icon, and they'll stay exactly as they are, even when you change global parameters or hit new pattern. It's perfect for locking in key harmonic moments while letting Spacewalk evolve the rest around them. The new richness override gives you precise control over harmonic density. Right click any chord and set it individual to a triad, 7th, 9th or 13th, or leave it on auto to follow your global setting. It's a small feature, but one that lets you shape tension and release through your progression in a much more musical way. Spacewalk 1.1 introduces three new parameters designed to make your progressions feel more natural and alive. Duration deviation adds subtle randomness to each chord's length so that your music breathes without drifting off the grid. Suspension probabilistically adds sus2 and sus4 chords, perfect for those dreamy, unresolved textures. And sparseness lets Spacewalk drop the odd chord tone, creating thinner, open voicings, like add nine pads drifting through space. Together, they make your progression sound more human and expressive. The smoothness parameter has had a major upgrade, and it now ranges from minus 50 to plus 50%. Positive values give you that flowing, overlapping blend that Spacewalk's known for, with chords melting seamlessly into one another. But if you go negative, the overlap decreases, so pad decay takes over, creating cleaner, more defined transitions. It's a subtle but powerful way to shape the atmosphere, from lush ambience to something more rhythmic and percussive. With those new features, the variation button has also been enhanced. It still tweaks things like colour, movement and humanisation, but it now also introduces the new features in sparseness, suspension and duration deviation. So, it, every press gives you a new take that feels organic, not random, which is perfect for long, evolving pieces. 
So, that's Spacewalk version 1.1, its biggest and most expressive update yet. It gives you real-time editing, smarter generative behaviour, and a deeper connection to the music you're creating, while keeping that evolving weightless feel that defines Spacewalk. Version 1.1 will be a free update for all existing users, and if you haven't tried Spacewalk yet, you can grab it on Grubman Road on a pay-what-you-want basis, with a small minimum contribution to support future updates. Thanks again for all your feedback and support. I can't wait to hear what you create with 1.1. I'll see you in the next one.